With this short tutorial, you'll be uploading and selling images in no time. Let's get started. In the Upload section, either drag your image files directly into the Upload area, or click the area to choose the files you'd like to upload from your computer's file system. You can upload one or several images at a time. Once your JPEG image files have been uploaded and processed, you also have the option to upload additional file types for each image, such as RAW files for photos, vectors for illustrations, and transparent PNGs for both. This is optional, but it is a great way to provide buyers more options when buying your images. Click one of the uploaded images to begin the submission process. The resulting submit screen offers several fields where you can enter relevant information about each of your images. To help you through the submission process, we offer several autofill options that will automatically populate many of the fields for you. However, you should always double check that the autofilled information is accurate and edit accordingly if needed. The more accurate the information you provide is, the easier it will be for buyers to find and purchase your work. You can autofill information based on the previous image you submitted. This can be useful when uploading a series of similar images. You can autofill keywords by having our system detect and enter relevant keywords about your image based on the title and description you've entered. You can also have our powerful AI engine suggest keywords based on an analysis of your image. Keywords are an important part of the information submission process as they provide additional relevant words about your image that buyers might be searching for. Our AI can also suggest which categories and subcategories your image is likely to fit in best. For example, this is an image of the Golden Gate Bridge, but it also contains several other elements that buyers might find useful, such as skyline, landmark, city, and clouds. You can also select categories and subcategories manually with the provided dropdowns, or use the quick search tool above the dropdowns. Always keep in mind that the more thorough and accurate the information you provide is, the easier it will be for buyers to find and purchase your images. While our autofill options can help save you time by automatically providing image information, you should always double check it for accuracy and make adjustments where needed or clear out the information and enter all new information. Once your image's information has been filled out, you will need to choose which one of two standard licenses it should be sold under. A commercial license allows a buyer to pay a one-time fee for the right to use the image as many times as they like, in print or digital format, for personal or commercial use, with just a few restrictions. However, the image cannot be resold or used in materials that are to be sold. An editorial license grants the buyer the right to use an image in an editorial but non-commercial manner such as news stories or broadcasts or truthful non-commercial magazine articles. Examples of editorial images are images of celebrities, brands, or politicians. Images containing such subjects must be sold under an editorial license. If your image features an identifiable person or persons, or a person or persons are the main subject of the photo, then you should upload a model release for each person for each photo. A model release is a legal document signed by the subject or subjects of an image granting permission for the image to be sold. Similarly, a property release is a legal document signed by the owner of private property featured in an image granting permission for the image to be sold featuring that property. If your image is refused by our editorial review team and not chosen to be sold on Dreamstime, you have the option to make it available for free in our free images section. Although you won't earn a commission for free images, it is still a great way to expand your portfolio. Selecting the option to upload your file exclusively on dreamstime.com will grant you 50% extra commissions, but you are required to not upload your image for sale elsewhere. If you uploaded an additional file type for your image, it'll be shown here where you have the option to remove it if necessary. 
In addition to selecting one of two of our standard royalty-free licenses, you can also select one or more extended license options as well. Web License This allows buyers to use images and digital media that they intend to sell, such as e-cards, desktop and mobile device wallpapers, and screensavers. Print Usage This allows buyers to use images in physical materials that they intend to sell, such as t-shirts, postcards, posters, and calendars. Sell the rights. This grants the buyer full, exclusive ownership of the image and the rights to use the image. Once an image is purchased under this license, the image can no longer be sold by the contributor on Dreamstime or elsewhere and must be removed from the stock photography marketplace. For this option, you can set your own price or let us recommend a price for you. Once all of your image information is filled out, simply click the Submit button. If you've uploaded multiple images, your next image will load. Simply repeat the process for all of the images you've uploaded. Remember that the autofill is a handy tool but shouldn't be completely relied on. Take the time to make sure all of the information provided for the image, either by autofill or by you, is as useful and relevant as possible before submitting. Once your images have been uploaded, their information has been filled out, and they have been submitted, you can find them in the Under Review tab. Here, you can make further edits to your image's information if needed, or remove them from the review process entirely. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We hope it's been useful, and we look forward to seeing your images.